Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do October readings for all zodiac signs. Now, like I always say, these are general readings, so take what applies. If it applies, you know what to do with the rest. And thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the description box below. I do readings within a 24-hour period of contact. So whether you shoot me an email or give me a shout over the phone, things are set up quickly and they're done quickly. Readings are done either over the phone or in a private video sent to you by email. Uh, also, if you want to learn tarot, I have tarot card classes. There are five videos plus a bonus video, and they're $20 a piece. From now until the end of October, they're going to be $80 for the whole set. And I coach throughout the whole thing, so give me a shout if you want to learn. Uh, also, Life Path readings are going to be uh, $35 from now until the end of October. And my Mystery Healing Boxes, I have a new shaped one. I think it's pretty cool. It's a hexagon. That's the top and that's glass. And this is to bring out the highest qualities and properties of your crystals in your stones. And they can be made in any shade and color that you like. I can customize them. So give me a shout if you are interested. All right, enough said. Reading's going to be for Sagittarius. Let's see what's cracking lacking with you in October 2019. Hmm. Oh, Sagittarius, bound and determined. Sagittarius, I think you're being a diehard. You could be refusing to let something go. Let's find out what this is all about. Yep, bottom of the deck. Sag, you have the Ace of Cups. Now, the Ace of Cups is the universe giving you this opportunity to see if you take it or not. New love. Making an old love new. More love and respect for yourself. And, Sag, I think you're trying to revive something. So let's find out. Let's get it. Sag, we're going to start off with... The Eight of Cups in Reverse. Now, in the upright, this is leaving a situation behind. Checking out of it emotionally. You know, this person has sipped from all eight cups and it's just not cutting it. So he leaves it to find something that's more emotionally fulfilling. In the reverse, not leaving it. Even though you have eight empty cups, you're not looking for the other two to either make it complete. Or you're just holding on to eight empty cups. And Sag, what's crossing to help or hinder, you have the major arcana, the Libra card of justice. Now, this could be in the court system that something sways your way. It could be karmic justice. Something gets rectified. Something gets justified. Something gets made fair. Something balances out. Sagittarius, I think that you won't leave something until something is made right, something's made fair. Now, this could be your energy you're putting out there or the energy that you're dealing with. And this could be in a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships. It's like someone here refuses to walk away from it. And Sag, whether it's your energy or their energy, it's like some things... You know, can't be fixed. Karmically, maybe, you know, somebody won't come to the grips that you need to move on. 
Because in your foundation, Sag, you have the Three of Cups. And this is about, you know, celebrating, having a U day, me day, come on over, have a drink day. It's about reuniting. This could be any type of event. Do you know what I mean? Coming back together with someone. You know, moving, um, bumping into them somewhere. But Sag, I think this is what's on your mind. Could be a person, but I think that you, you know, if somebody walked away from you, or you them, somebody here wants to get back together. And somebody could be resisting this because the crowning card is the five of rods. Now here's petty arguments, gossip, secrets, lies, could be jealousy. Not everyone sees eye to eye, not everybody's on the same page. You know, and sad if this is your energy that you're putting out there and stuff, people might be telling you, what are you, nuts? What do you mean you want to go back to that? Or this could be the other party. But, you know, it's like nobody understands why you won't leave it. Or them, you. Now, in your recent past, you have the Ten of Cups. And this is Ride That Unicorn card. This is emotional fulfillment at its finest. Happy house, happy spouse, happy life. Sag, maybe like in the past, you know, seemed like you had it all. But going into your future, ten cups turns into ten wands. Intends to be at the end of a cycle. Here, Sag. This is going forward with all your experiences, all your know-how, all those burdens, everything heavy on your shoulders. And you get to drop them, though. The Ten of Rods in the upright is taking a few more steps and unloading them. Because, Sag, who wants to walk around with this heavy burden on your shoulders? And it's the exact way I see it. It's like something good gone bad. It happens, Sag. But if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. You know, some things, you know, people cannot, you know, heal from. And that's for any sign. But it seems like maybe something you had in a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships started off well. And, and this ended up being burdensome. And how they're viewing you in this situation. Moving on. Sag, they're looking at you as the cancer card of the chariot. Now, this is moving forward with victory and success. You only get the victory and success when the two sphinxes work together. Head, heart, hope, fear, subconscious, conscious. Those two are on the same page. You do go forward with victory and success. I'm kind of almost thinking, Sag, that maybe, you know, you want to leave this and somebody just does not want you to leave this. Or vice versa. Because in your environment, you have the Knight of Cups. Now, this comes from the realm of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but more so just a messenger. A messenger of something heartfelt, a messenger of something sentimental. It could be an apology, you know, or just a message from the heart. And Sag, I think this is, you know, coming from... The person that wants you to stay when you want to go. Or this could be you doing this offer. You know, to somebody who is trying to move on. Now, if they're viewing you as the chariot and you're moving on with victory and success. It very well could be the other party here. Because in your hopes and in your fears, you have the Page of Cups. One under the Knight of Cups. And again, a messenger of something heartfelt, something sentimental. The apology. Or the compliment. And I kind of feel here, Sag, that even though you get the Page and the Knight of Cups here, you know, somebody says something heartfelt and sentimental, 
and you say, this is heartfelt and sentimentally, no. That might be for some. For others, you know, somebody reaches out, pulls on your heartstrings, and it works. However this applies, dear Sag, if you're trying to move on from something, if you're facing, you know, controversy, trying to move forward, your outcome card is the Two of Cups. Now, here's that I get you connection, you know, soulmate stuff. And Sag, all I can say is that if you know, if you know this is your soulmate, if you know this is the person that you're supposed to be with for the rest of your life, then yeah, fight for it. No matter who likes it, you know, it's, it's your life. It's your happiness. And Sag, if this is something that you're trying to move on from, you know, just make sure that if you want it behind you, you got to keep it behind you. You know, this might be a passing thing. Mm, no. I feel it's not a passing thing. This could be a karmic soulmate. If it's a karmic soulmate, Sag, then there's a lesson to be learned before you or anyone else can move forward. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.